bring in the next. Uh, opposed in the most vigorous terms. Uh, challenges to deny. Bring the jury back. It took the jury seven hours to review three weeks of testimony before reaching a verdict. They only sought the judge's advice one time during deliberations. They wanted permission to listen again to the tape recordings of hypnotic sessions involving the state's key witness, a man who fingered Bundy as the man he saw leading a young girl away from the Lake City School. The evidence in the case was circumstantial, but the jury thought it was enough for conviction. We, the jury, find the defendant, Theodore Robert Bundy, guilty of murder in the first degree as charged in count one, of the indictment. So say we all, dated this 7th day of February 1980 at Orange County, Florida. Signed Patrick E. Wilski, foreman of the jury. As to count two, we the jury find the defendant, Theodore Robert Bundy, guilty of kidnapping as charged in count two of the indout, an indictment. So say we all, dated this 7th day of February 1980. The jury will resume its deliberations on Saturday, this time to determine if Ted Bundy should be given life or sentenced to death for the kidnapped murder of 12-year-old Kimberly Leach. Terry Kerr for CBS News, Orlando, Florida. Wearing a blue bow tie and a big grin, Theodore Bundy faced the jury for the last time. They reconvened to hear testimony from both sides before deciding whether to recommend life in prison or the death penalty. The defense called only one witness, Carol Boone. Acting as his own lawyer, Bundy questioned her about his character. She said he's a kind, warm, patient man, a very positive part of her life. Then the convicted man popped the question. Carol, do you want to marry me? Yes. And I want to marry you? Yes. And I do want to marry you. He said you There was no visible reaction in the courtroom. Bundy went on questioning Boone. The prosecution called the marriage proposal a charade and asked the jury to consider the timing of the announcement. The jury deliberated about 45 minutes. They came back with the decision of death. A majority of the jury advise and recommend to the court that it impose the death penalty upon the defendant, Theodore Robert Bundy, dated this 9th day of February, 1980, in Orlando, Orange County, Florida. Yes. Bundy sat with his back to the judge during the reading of the recommendation. Then, one last outburst as the jury was being released. Well, the jury tell the jury that they were wrong. <coughs> the jury's decision is not binding. Judge Wallace Jopling has the final word on Bundy's sentence. That will come on Tuesday at 1.30. Bundy is already facing two death penalties for the 1978 murders of two sorority sisters. Pam Thompson for CBS News, Orlando. Circumstances existing to justify the sentence of death. Or any of its successor agencies for one sentence. Therefore, it is the sentence of this court as to cap one of the indictment that you, Theodore Robert Bundy, be adjudicated guilty of murder in, fr in the first degree and that you be sentenced to death for the murder of Kimberly Diane Leach. It is further ordered that you, Theodore Robert Bundy, be taken by the proper authority to the Florida State Prison and there be kept and closely confined until the date of your execution is set. In this case, the court finds that jurisdiction exists for the entry of an order by this court retaining jurisdiction.